And number five is dealing with Sterling K. Brown, who I absolutely love, Kerry Washington, who I'm decently fond of, and this um, director right here, they're going to be putting together a movie, a pairing. Now, let me read to you guys what they're going to be doing. Victoria Mahoney, who made history directing Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, will now direct the upcoming Lionsgate action film, Shadow Force, starring Sterling K. Brown, Kerry Washington, are set to star. The film hails from writer Leon Chills and Joe Carnahan, who have created a story about a husband and a wife on the outs with each other, but are now the targets for a bounty killer. Ooh. Together with their son, they must try to stay away from their former shadow ops unit, who is now tasked with killing them. Larry, Victoria Mahoney, Sterling K. Brown, and the sweet Carrie Washington. Is that going to be a first day watch for you? How do you feel about this pairing? Well, first, I want to know, is, is Carrie Washington, is she still allowed to have a black love interest? Why is she not allowed to have a black love interest? I mean, I, I, when was the last time you saw her with one? Her husband. <laughs> um. Uh, you know she's married to an uh, ex-football player for the Eagles, Nambe Asamoa. And I now, think I'm not she talking was... about real life. I'm talking about on. I'm talking about on on in the movies, on TV. Uh, it, it, what about that show? What is it? Pretty Little Liars or Little Fires Everywhere? Ain't her husband up there black? Is he? I, I haven't seen so. it. I gave up on her. To be honest with you, I was I I gotten so frustrated with her. I gave up on her, so I didn't watch that. Okay, but. It seems like it could be good. I mean, the the premise of it seems not all that original, but it's everything doesn't have to be original to be good. It still can be a lot of fun, you know? Mm -hmm. So it sounds to me like it's sort of, you know, not a spinoff, but it's like, you know, the whole for they're both former black ops people or whatever. And so, you know, now their people are chasing them, trying to kill them. It almost sounds like uh it almost sounds like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith, except other right. people are trying to kill them instead of them trying to kill each other. Yeah. But I mean, I think that they'll make a much more interesting Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, the only thing, my only drawback, and I'm not saying I don't want Carrie Washington to do it. I've not really seen her do like combat -y type movies. Have you, Larry? Like um you know, I'm not used to her trying to play the badass female role from the perspective of she's actually physically fighting. You know, mentally, yes, but physically, I've never seen her in that role. No, you either of her. I haven't seen her in that. And she looks, unless she unless she spends some time bulking up, I it's going to be difficult to see her in that because she looks so frail. Every time mm -hmm. I see her, like, when I, like, when the last several times i've seen her she looks like one of those big head people you know if, oh, if my anyone Lord. out there knows what i'm talking about my it's Lord. those people who they lose so much weight they get so frail and thin that their head looks disproportionately large to their body she looks like one of those big head people because she looks so thin and frail and that Larry. is not an action figure like you look at someone like halle berry halle berry when she did john, uh, john wick she looked like she had some muscle tone on her. She didn't look buff, but she looked muscular. You know, I can see someone, and maybe maybe Kerry Washington's working out and eating some protein and 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 gaining a little a little bit of muscle. But I wouldn't have mind seeing someone maybe like Zoe Saldana do that. I think I've seen her in action movies, and I could see her. You know, she did Columbiana. I thought she was cool in that. You know. I yeah. wouldn't have mind seeing someone like, uh, you know, like a Tika Sumter do something, you know. I mean, maybe Zoe uh, got her hands tied up with Marvel. She um, um playing Gamora. She ain't got no more room to do any more action movies. I don't think she's tied right. up. But um, I'm there for it because I I'm a big Sterling K. Brown fan. I've been following him since the Army Wise. Dude is Oscar winner. He's great. He can carry a show. And I would just really be interested to see how that pairing with the director and those two being the stars goes. So I'm there for it. Yeah, I'll see it. it. But Larry, 
you're going to get attacked by all the people who've had lap band surgery and been successful talking about they done head done went helium and their body done deflated. You're going to get it, my man. And I'm not going to be there to give you any of my muscles to help defend you from them people talking about their head big. Your woman, Ramona, got a big forehead. How would you feel if somebody said that about Ramona? They talk about her forehead all the time, but her forehead is just big. It's not her whole head. I'm talking about Man. these people who have, who look like, and then and it's the thing. People like Kerry Washington, it's not like her head is big. She doesn't have a big head. It's just that she loses so much weight and gets so skinny and frail that her head looks big. Her head looks disproportionate to her body because it's her body so doggone small. Carrie, don't change nothing, sweetheart. Carrie, I rock, donut. I rocks with you, Carrie. Me and you Carrie, can sit together. Me, in fact, me, you know what? Carrie, Carrie, stop by my house. No. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give no. you a Joe Weedler shake. No, I'm gonna make you a couple of steaks. I'm gonna I'm gonna, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you some bread. I'm gonna no. make you some really nice cinnamon no. toast every morning so that you can get a little bit of a little bit of something on your bones again. Carrie, forget that guy. You stop over here. I got a gym. We're going to have our protein shakes, our celery sticks, and all the rabbit food we can eat, and we're going to get it right. 